Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Agile CRM. Since recently, I have been reviewing numerous CRM platforms and this is arguably one of the best platforms for any budget. For example, you can see there are different features. So if you are looking at CRM with numerous sales features, if I were to hover over sales, you can see the different features that you'll get access to using Agile CRM. You will get an inbox CRM, a mobile CRM. You can also incorporate numerous calendars and various apps. And you can see right here the different features. Now, if you are looking at CRM for marketing, with Agile CRM, you'll be able to do email marketing, which is expected with most CRMs. You will also be able to create newsletters, email tracking. You can do video emails. You can also use this platform to create websites. And you can also do website recording, PPC management software, and you can also use it to create landing pages and you can use it for a farm builder. So there are numerous features that you can get access to. And if you want a web uh, CRM for service or productivity, you can see the other features right there. And what I also like, as you can see here, they do offer a free plan. And with their free plan, you'll be able to add up to 10 users. So this is perfect if you are a small business, as you'll be able to add up to 10 users. And you'll also get access to over 50,000 contacts and companies. And you can see the different features that you'll get access to. But I do recommend that you go up to their paid plan. For instance, their paid plan starts off at $8.99 per month. And by scrolling down, you can see the different features. You'll be able to create a landing page and you'll also get access to numerous other features. Now, let's say you were to sign up with the free plan. Once you're signed in, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Once on this dashboard, I want you to pay attention to a few things. The first thing I want you to pay attention to is the left hand menu option. From the left hand menu option, you can start adding contacts by tapping on contacts. After you have tapped on contacts, from here you can see import from CSV. If you would like to import it from Salesforce, which is another CRM platform, or you would like to import it from another platform, you can tap on import from other, and you can import it from Google, Shopify, Stripe, or FreshBooks, or QuickBooks you can see that it provides numerous integration options. And also by going over to the left hand menu option once more, you can tap on companies. And from here, you'll be able to add your first company by going over to the top right hand corner. You could tap on add company. Then you could enter the company name and you can also enter their URL and then tap on save. And going over to the left hand menu option once more, if you were to tap onto the dollar sign, you will be able to create your first deal. So you could tap on add deal right here. After you have tapped on add deal, all you'll need to do is simply fill in the information right here. So you could add the name, you can also add the value, you can add your milestone and your probability, and you can fill out the description right there and you'll be able to create your first deal. Keep in mind that this section that I'm showing you is mainly focused on sales, as I will be showing you how to change it from the sales option, and you can add your online calendar by tapping on online calendar. All you'll need to do is tap on OK. Once you have done that, you will be redirected to the calendar option as you can see right here. But if you would like to add more features, you will need to go on their premium plan. Now, let's say you don't want it only for sales. You could tap on sales from the middle of the page right here at the top. Then you are going to tap on marketing. By tapping on marketing, you'll be redirected to a new board. It does look similar, 
by looking over to the left hand menu option but believe me if you were to scroll over and highlight each icon you can see that they offer different options now the first thing you can see you will be able to create a landing page if you want but this is not this is not offered on the free plan you will need to upgrade to create landing pages but if you would like access to other stuff for example email campaigns you could tap on the letter icon once you have tapped on the letter icon you will be redirected to this dashboard and from here you can see they do provide a few templates this is one of their pull box as they don't have a lot of templates but all you'll need to do is simply tap on the one that you like to use once you have tapped on the template that you like you'll now be able to edit the layout so you'll be able to add content blocks from the right hand menu option right here and it is beginner friendly you can quickly edit it all you'll need to do is simply drag and place the block where you want and from there you can add in your content real quick after you're finished you could tap on save and then from there you can promote your template right here or better yet you can send out your email and start email marketing now if we go over to the left hand menu option you can also send out videos all you'll need to do is tap on videos then you could tap on add video and you can record and send out a personalized video email and going over to the left hand menu option once more from here you can tap on forms and you can use agile crm to create different forms and they do provide you with templates that you can choose from as you can see right here so let's say for example i were to select this template all i would need to do is simply tap on it once i've tapped on the template you can get a preview of how it looks as you can see right here this is how it looks at the moment by going over to the top right hand corner if I were to tap on Metro I could change the theme as you can see right here also if you want to add buttons you can add buttons you can simply tap on buttons then drag where you would like to put it if you would like to add text you can tap on text once everything is there liking you'll tap on save so let's tap on save real quick in the top right hand corner after you have tapped on save you can see they provide you with an html code so if you wanted to add this form on another website all you'll need to do is copy the html code and you'll be able to embed it if it is a case that you'd like to share the form on social media you can also do that as agile crm provides you with a free url as you can see right here so all you will need to do is copy it and then you can share it on whichever platform you want now let's go back to the main dashboard once on the main dashboard i've now shown you how to use their sales features i've also shown you how to use their marketing features but with agile crm as i said earlier there are numerous features on this one platform so all I would need to do is tap on marketing then from there I could tap on service you can see that we are redirected to a new dashboard and again by going over to the left hand menu option you can see that the icons have changed so for example if I were to tap on the first option right here it will carry me to their knowledge base and to get access to this community I would need to upgrade but if I were to tap on the second option from the top, you will see live chats. And again, for this feature, you will need to be on their paid plan. For majority of the features in service, you'll need to be on the paid plan to get access to it. Also, you can use Agile CRM to create automations. So I could tap on automations right there. And you can see the different services. All you'll need to do is tap on go. And then from there you can start editing your automation and once you are finished you'll tap on save so you can see the basic layout right here it starts then from there you can add in the different steps all you'll need to do is drag and place the step as you can see right there then you'll fill in the information and tap on save 
and it will now be added and you can add different steps as you can see there so it starts right there and you can add in another step if you want then tap on save and that is basically it when it comes on to agile crm if there's anything more you'd like to know about this platform please let me know in the comment section and again thank you for watching this tutorial and be sure to hit the like button and subscribe